We go beyond the traditional approach to inflation to better understand how inflation emerges from the myriad of underlying price changes, as well as the decisions of workers and firms. The under the hood approach gives us a fresh perspective on inflation. It turns out that high and low inflation behave very differently, like a car at high and low speeds. Low inflation tends to stabilize itself even when some individual prices are moving fast. But high inflation does not. And the transition from low to high inflation tends to be self-reinforcing. Simply put, once an inflation psychology takes hold, it can be hard to stop the momentum. It is challenging to find reliable early signals. One useful warning indicator is the degree of spillovers of price changes across sectors, at least for the near-term outlook. A key problem is that formal models of inflation designed to see further out are least valuable during transitions precisely when you need them most. They ignore the self-reinforcing dynamics. The most reliable sign is wages chasing prices and vice versa, so-called second round effects. This is what inflation is all about. But by the time the signs become clearly visible, you may already be too far along the transition. Central banks need to rely heavily on judgment, basing their decisions on the full array of information available, both hard and soft. Avoiding a transition to high inflation is essential. There is a premium on a timely and decisive response. If inflation becomes entrenched, the cost of bringing it down are much higher.